Cause you are good, you are good, and your love endures. You are good, you are good, and your love endures. You are good, you are good, and your love endures today. Today I couldn't have yesterday. I get mercies today I couldn't have yesterday. Thank you, Jesus. I see that sun rising, telling me again, telling me again. It's a new day. With new mercies as the sun. 
sun rises, it's testifying. It's a new day with new mercies. As the sun rises, it's testifying. So I believe you're for me. I receive your mercy. Cause I believe you're for me today. I receive. Voices in unison, giving you thanks and praise. Joined by the instruments, and then your glory came. Your presence like a cloud. Upon that ancient day, the priests were overwhelmed because your glory came. You are good, you are good, and your love endures. You are good. You are good, and your love endures. You are good, you are good, and your love endures today. Oh, you are good, you are good, and your love endures. You are good, you are good. So it's all to Jesus I surrender all to Him I freely give. I will ever love and trust Him in His presence day.
Cause we want your ways We don't want to resist you We want to be with you Here we are God We don't want to resist you We want to be with you Here is where I lay it down Every burden, every crown This is my surrender oh, This is my surrender Here is where I lay it down Every burden, every crown This is my surrender And I will make room for you to do whatever you want to to do whatever you want to I will make room for you to do whatever you want to to do whatever you want to This is my surrender, this is my surrender, and here is where I lay it down, every burden, every crown, this is my surrender. Of all my traditions. Break
So let your presence fill this place And let your angels be released God, we will worship at your feet And face to face we want to meet See you. 
conquered death. We believe in the resurrection, and He's coming back again. We believe. Here we are, Father, we join our hearts together. Foundation, we believe. 
We'll be praying from Colossians 1, verse 9 and 10. Praying for IHOPKC and the broader body of Christ. We have not ceased to pray for you and ask that you would be filled with the knowledge of his will. All spiritual wisdom and understanding that you would walk in a manner worthy of the Lord and please him in all respects, bearing fruit in every good work, increasing in the knowledge of God. Father, we come boldly before your throne of grace this morning, Father, seeking your mercies and seeking that which flows from your heart wisdom of God, the mercy of God, grace of God. We believe, Lord, that you hear the sound of our voices. We desire to please you. We want the increase of the fear of the Lord and the knowledge of God in our midst. Lord, upon this spiritual family, upon the body of Christ, Lord, our desire, verse 10, is to walk in a manner that's pleasing to the Lord, worthy of the calling that you have for us through Christ. We are your workmanship. We are created for good works by the blood of Jesus, by the atoning work of the cross. Lord, we stand before you humbled, contrite, Lord, filled with pain, filled with emotions. Father, we believe your word, that you have, Lord, a calling before this people to walk worthy of you, to walk in a manner that pleases your heart. Lord, we want to please you. We want to please the very heart of God. We want, Lord, your approval of all that we say, all that we do, the motive of our heart, Lord, the deeds of our hands. We ask you, Lord, for the help of heaven. We ask for the purifying love of God to be released, to wash over this spiritual family in this season, Lord, as we turn to you a season of mourning and repentance. Lord, we turn to you in every way. We examine ourselves in light of the gospel of Jesus Christ, in light of the teaching, the commands of your word. We turn to you, Lord. We say, help us. Send help from heaven. Let us fulfill that which you have called us to and come short and know calling, no assignment before your very heart. We ask for the increase of the grace of God. We ask for the increase of the fear of the Lord. We ask you, Lord, for your spirit to be magnified and to exalt Jesus and the power of the cross in this hour. We ask for the release of healing healing for the brokenhearted, healing, Lord, that would bind up the wounds of those that have suffered injustice, healing for the hurting and the despairing. We ask for your purposes to continue and go forth. The grace of God would be released, that you would release, Lord, the increased power of your spirit to walk in a manner that's pleasing to your heart. Would you help us, Lord? Would you help us, Lord? Would you open up the heavens? Would you send your favor? Would you send your blessing? Would you send your justice? Would you send your correction? Lord, we say yes to you in the deepest places of our heart. We want to walk in the light as you, Father, are in the light. We want the light of your countenance to shine on every corner of our heart, our ways, our families, marriages. 
Lord, our leadership, the posture of our heart before you, Lord, we want it to please your heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us, Lord. Help us to walk worthy of the calling that you have in the name of Jesus. them by your truth because your word is truth father i thank you for the glory that is set before us the glory of where the human spirit is heading unification with god one with you lord and lord we lift our eyes in the midst of all the darkness lord that is upon us in this moment We lift our eyes and we remember where we are going, God. Father, I pray for the power of the Holy Spirit that you would do the impossible in our young adults. Lord, that you would make them a company of people fully given over to you, God. I pray for consecrated ones set apart for you, O God. Ones who are holy, Lord. And unto the Lord, committed to you, Lord, with all of their heart, mind, soul, and strength, God. I pray, Holy Spirit, you have the ability to sanctify them. You have the ability to do what's impossible in the human spirit. I pray that you would do that very thing in them, God, in us, in this city, God. I pray for your church, Lord. You would make us one with you, O God one with the Father, one with the Son, one with the Spirit of God that's on the inside of us, Lord. And I pray, oh God, that you would declare that name over us, the very name of God that will cause love to spring forth in our hearts for Jesus Christ, that we would end up loving him the same way that you love him. So I pray in the name of Jesus in this city, oh God, Would you sanctify us with your truth? Holy Spirit, come, cleanse us and sanctify us with truth. Because your word is truth. In Jesus' name. Oh, through these ones, Lord, produce a testimony. Sanctify them with your truth. Set apart for you, Abba. Display the the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit.
bride. One heart. We need you, God. One heart. One mind. One mind. Unified. Unified. Come and help your bride. One together one with you, God. One heart. One heart. One mind. One mind. Unified. Unified. Come and help your out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil ones. Father, I pray for our youth in this city. Lord, they're in the world. You didn't ask your father to take them out of the world, but this season of their existence has a purpose. So Father, I ask you in this time, Lord, would you keep them from the evil one? Lord, until the day that they see your face, until they're standing on that shore of eternity, on into endless ages, God, with you, Lord, I pray, would you keep them from the one that wants to destroy their souls? I pray in the name of Jesus, keep them from the evil one. He's going around like a roaring lion. From the evil one, the one that wants to destroy them, keep them from him. Keep them guard them.
teachers in Israel. I pray that you let your word run, that you let the revelation of your son spring up from the ground. Do what only you can do among the next generation, Israel, Father. I pray that you reveal yourself for the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of who you are over each young adult, each child in Israel. I pray that you break the chains of hopelessness and fear and discouragement. I pray that you lift the veil, that you drive out any confusion. Dreams and visions at night, Father. Visions of the man in white. Father, I pray that you make justice flow down and mercy wall through the cities. I pray, Father, that you raise up a generation within Israel that, that longs for your return, a generation of burning and shining ones among a generation that is crooked and perverted. Father, have your way. Do what only you can do. I pray that you hover over the hearts of each young adult in Israel. That you make the gospel known to them, make it real to them. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you let the revelation of your son wall and spring up from the ground. Let your word run in Israel. Let your word
participate. Come on out in the aisles. Break up into groups of three to five people. Let's keep praying for the youth if that's on your heart. Let's pray for them as they navigate this season here in our spiritual family and the youth in this city as they're going through all the things they're going through or any other burden on your heart.
Jesus 
We're going to be praying for Gen Z and young adults, college students and high schoolers out of Colossians 1, 9 through 11, that you, that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you may have a walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy. So God, we just come before you today and I just ask that your heart for my generation would, would come through, Lord. I pray that all of the lies of the enemies over young adults and high schoolers would just fall to the ground, Lord. I pray that all anxiety, depression, and suicidal thoughts would just break before your name, Lord. I pray that you would just speak life over this generation, Lord. That you would just speak purpose, Lord. That we would be a generation that's set apart for you, that's set apart for your word, Lord. Raise up John the Baptist in this generation, Lord, forerunners to prepare the way for your second coming, Lord. I just ask that no plan of the enemy would prosper, Lord. I just ask that your will would be done in this generation, Lord. I just pray that your glorious power with all patience and long suffering would prevail with joy in Jesus' name. Your name is a strong tower. Let them run into it. Release your glorious power. save a generation? Do you not long to reveal the riches of your glory to a generation? The riches of the gospel of Christ and, and Christ crucified. Jesus, you said that no one comes to you unless drawn by the Father. So Father, we, we ask, would you come? Would you reveal yourself to a generation? Would you draw this generation to Jesus? God, would you Release the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you over the hearts and minds of this generation, God, that you would show them the purpose and the plans that you have for them, the immeasurable greatness of your power towards those who believe. God, I ask that you would reveal the, the beautiful ways in which you created them, the purpose that you have for them, God. God, I ask that you would spread the light of the gospel, that it would run swiftly 
that it would cut to the hearts of many and that many in this generation would turn to you and be saved in Jesus' name. Father, present your son as beautiful. Draw many to the beauty of your son. Draw many to you. Jesus, be seen. Reveal yourself. send them out to this broken generation, God, to be able to to lead them to the path of righteousness and truth, to lead them to Jesus. Father, would you raise up many fathers and mothers to, to mother and father this generation in Jesus' church 
God, that you would, in this time, meet her with a new vision, with a fresh revelation of Christ. God, I ask you for your church in the West. God, in these coming times, whatever may be the trials and the tribulations ahead, whatever may come to test our hearts, to shake your church, God, would you give us steadfastness through your love, through the revelation of Christ? Would you, God, give your church, especially in the areas where she is most weary, where she is uh, most tired, a fresh vision of Christ, God, that would sustain her and give her a fresh strength and zeal to persevere, to be steadfast in love. God, I'm asking that you would draw near in this hour. God, it feels like many things are shifting and changing throughout the nations, throughout the world. That the order of things are breaking apart. It, it feels as though your hand is resting over the nations in a heavy way to test the hearts of men. And I ask you that in this season, your church would not be found wanting, that you would give her steadfastness through a humble heart. God, we remember how your eyes are on the proud to bring them low. But to the humble, to the contrite of heart, to the broken of heart, you give grace. You are near to her. We ask you for such a broken heart, for such a contrite spirit in this hour for your church, for such humility. God, not that we would be, uh, that we would lose or be drained of our zeal, but that we would be both fervent and of a gentle spirit that is precious to you, O oh God. And that uh, we would be made steadfast through these things, through these fruits of the Spirit, to be sustained through the trials and the testings that are ahead, through the changes, whatever they may look like, whatever shape may, uh, your church may take in these coming hours that your church in the West would be strengthened and kept and given steadfastness to, be, to persevere. I pray in Jesus' name. According to your riches, God, give us the strength. Release the fresh outpouring of your spirit. That we would be rooted and grounded in love. Rooted and grounded. Root us and ground us in your love, God. Give us strength in our inner man.
May the words of my heart all the things I think about May the words of my heart 